What's up everyone and welcome to another Luthier price prediction video. In these videos I break down where I think price might be moving next for different assets that are recommended to me in either the comments section of these YouTube videos or on our Luthier Telegram channel that you can find a link for in the description below. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down Solana. So let's take a look at the chart here on the two-day time frame. You can see that we've had this bull trend here on the two-day time frame. If you don't know how to identify those, check out our tutorial video where we break that down for you uh, in brief terms. But this uh, bull trend that we're seeing right here with a low, high, higher, low, higher, high is the trend that is uh, really giving rise to this momentum that we're seeing here in price. Now, given that we've risen about uh, 41, a little over 41% since our low that we set here on October 18th, I would expect a higher low to be set once this drawdown occurs, which we're seeing right now. And where I would expect that drawdown to happen is on the support level right here, this white candle from October 8th. And this is where we are seeing a bear trend here. If you don't know how to identify those, you can check out our video where we uh, break that down for you as well. But um, this candle is our main resistance zone for price. We come into it here and we get a rejection and then we come above it and close two candlesticks above it. Once we do that, this level turns into support zone and that goes from about 169 down to approximately 152. So that's going to be the area where uh, the buy zone, I think, for this is and where I think the price will bounce. So if we get that drawdown into that zone, that's where I would expect the price to bounce from. Thereafter, Considering if we look at things like the Ichimoku cloud and the Super Guppy, we're in a very bullishly trending market for this asset. We would like to see a uh, significant move up in the coming weeks and months to go above these two highs that are roughly equal now and then go up to uh, at least, I would say, 250. Uh, 250 big figure would be the area that I would look for Solana to go to after we go above these two key highs. And then thereafter, I would say uh, we would probably look at like 275 and then 300 thereafter. Uh, if we look at this from a weekly perspective, we can see that the weekly candle closes in about eight hours and 15 minutes. If we're a bull, we wanna see this candle close above this key high here, because then we can look to, uh, you know, um, get a candle close above this key high and continue this bull trend higher. For a confirmed bull trend, we want two candle closes above this key high. So if we can get one this week, then that sets us up well for potentially next week to get another one, uh, closing above there and then hopefully some momentum thereafter to continue this uh, upwards. Now, when you see um, the uh, price contract like this and then break out to the upside, that's very uh, that's a very good sign that we could see some continuation and uh, some expansion to the upside because when price contracts like that, it's kind of like stretching a rubber band and then letting it loose. Once you finally let that rubber band loose, it's gonna snap in one direction pretty significantly. And that's what we'll have here if we can continue this bull trend higher. So uh, that is my analysis for Solana. Uh, in the short term, I am looking for that uh, two-day level down here at roughly 169 for a bounce. And then thereafter, once we break to a new all-time high, I would say 250 is the first target. From a six-hour perspective, last but not least, if we get a six-hour candle close um, below this white candle here, we will confirm this bear trend here. And this white candle will be the area where... Um, I would look for people to sell or go short on Solana and then drive us down further in uh, closer to that gray support zone. So that is what I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a like down below and subscribe for future educational content around cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. And also leave a comment in the uh, comment section down below and let me know which asset you would like to see me analyze next. And if you haven't already, check out our event that we just posted on Lutheory.com. This is where you can learn an investment strategy that I personally use to not only source different crypto assets, but decide where I'm going to buy and specifically take profits on different investments that I make. Um, so you can get, you can check that out. There's a link for that in the description below and you can get your ticket uh, using that link. And until next time, onward and upward.